today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Uh, what the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Before we start, it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Jibu Beauty. They have an amazing skincare collection that will make your skin and your soul look amazing. Their personal mission in life is to make your skin glow. From the Super Duo to the Multitasking Tint Moisturizer to even their new Enchanted Bloom collection, everything that they offer is just perfection. So if you want to get your products, make sure to go to the link on the description below and do not forget to use my discount code ANDY15 and you will get between 15 and 20% off. So get your products right now. Jibu Beauty, inspired by dreams, made for reality. Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills. And girl, we are back. Oh, I'm back in LA. I have to tell you, I'm a little bit destroyed. You know, like, uh, don't get me wrong, Puerto Vallarta was a wonderful, amazing experience. My first time in Mexico, and I have to say I enjoyed every single day, even if I was hangover, even if I was bloated, even if I was about to die, girl. The food, the people, the hotel, the, the weather, the partying, like the whole thing, girl. Puerto Vallarta is definitely everything that I was expecting and a little bit more. And I can tell you, I don't think it's going to be my last time going over there. But with that being said, oof, that return was insane. Insane. You know, like uh, I was flying United. As usual with United, there is always some kind of like problem going on. Like the whole thing was just a mess. Um, but we're here. We're back. I'm super tired, like look at these lines, like are you kidding me, are you kidding me? Anyways, I know, I will go back to normal someday, but for now, I think it is time to spill some tea. All right, girl, so get ready because we are about to talk about Vanderpump Rules, Scandal, and everything in between because Tom Sandoval has broke his silence after it was exposed that Mr. Ray, I'm sorry, that Miss Rachel and Mr. Sandoval, uh, well, they were not going into like rehab. Rachel was not going into like any like mental rehab or any of that. No, they were actually going into like a resort to have, you know, like the time of their life, like five star resort kind of thing. And, you know, they were exposed. Uh, they were trying to lie. They were trying to put out there that Rachel was going into this full on rehab, uh, you know, program like, you know, let's uh, rehab sociopaths or something like that. And that she was going to have all the help that she needed. And this is not a medical institution at all. So, as you know, Bravo World did their due diligence. And then, of course, with the help of someone from the resort, that's how the whole truth ended up happening. Now, Tom Sandoval is pissed. He's very upset that the truth got finally out there. So, the whole thing started because the Miraval Hotel actually they ended up posting a picture of a bar you know and the caption literally said you know that it's our time these are the best days of our lives you know of course they're like insinuating of all about Vanderpump rules and you know maybe for a lot of people it will be like oh whatever you know like you don't get it but when you know you know and when People start saying like Ra uh, Raquel is going to this rehab place and then it's connected to this Miraval. Now you understand like, oh, this is not a rehab center, you know. Now, 
this is a resort to clear your mind, to play golf, to go painting, to go in and out, do whatever you want, you know. They have like all kind of classes attended to you. You can go to yoga, you can get a, a nice massage, you can go into like a sound bath, like all the kind of things, you know. So, bitch, this is not mental rehab, okay? This is not a doctor right there telling you what you have, the kind of need that you really need, if you need to be put on drugs or anything, you know? No, this is not that kind of place. This is just literally a five-star resort, okay? So, you know, now the truth is out there, and Tom Sandoval decided to say something, which, to be very honest, I think is very kind of dumb. Tom Sandoval went on Instagram and said, I am beyond disappointed in Miraval Resort and Miraval, Arizona, and their decision to post to their Instagram account this past weekend a lodging to me staying there this week. They claim to be a refugee for wellness and betterment, but that is obviously false they rather feed into the negativity and a spectacle that has engulfed my life. In a continuous effort to be healthy and work on myself, I plan a trip to go there completely alone, <laughs> okay, completely alone to try and find some peace. Miraval clearly isn't the place for that. A special shout out to the general manager who refuses to take any responsibility for the actions of his team, even though he considered the post in poor taste. Regardless of where you stand in all of this, we all deserve the chance to work to be better. Okay. Who's going to tell him? Um, this whole thing... It was not about Tom Sandoval staying at the Miraval Hotel. In fact, there was just a rumor that he might go there. This was supposed to be about Rachel checking in into rehab. And this place was supposed to be rehab. So he literally just outed Rachel as the liar that she is, more lies. They literally put even their, their parents who were by like, oh, their parents, they decided to send her to rehab, like, even before Scandoval happened. Like, the lies, the lies, the lies. And Tom Sandoval, he's literally just putting everything out there. This was not about you. No one even knew that you were going to be there. There was, like, these reports that, that Tom Sandoval eventually was going to go there and join Rachel for a little D for a while, you know? But, like, this was not about his mental stage or absolutely anything. The story who was sold to the tabloids was that Raquel was being sent to rehab, to mental rehab. So he literally just called out a lie, her, uh, Raquel a liar, him a liar, the resort a liar. Like, the whole thing is just a mess. Now, let's also remember, I said something here. Someone said something that is very true. It says, they, Miraval uh, Resort, they are not a mental health facility. They are not obligated by HIPAA or Bravo or anyone to keep your secrets. You know, I mean, 100% true, agree with that. Like, this is a random, like, a, a hotel. You know, they can post wherever the fuck they want to post. This is not, a, they, they don't have patience, confidentiality, they don't have any of that. Like, Tom Sandoval, he, he, he you know, messed it up again. Uh, I thought he, he thought he was doing, like, some, like, hero move, you know. Like, I'm going to call them out. Bitch, you call yourself out. And you outed Raquel for the liar that she still is. I can. All right, guys. That's what is going on right now. Let me know what you think on the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to Vanderpump Rules or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.